Чистый английский закон. И что? Там. No smoking. It's against the law to smoke. Это значит, что вы только что приехали в наше государство, и вы уже стали преступником. What would your vision be of a kind of fair society? We are a kind of social democrats and we like uh, Scandinavian countries, but it will be okay for me, even, even we will have a right-hand president, but uh, we will work with him or with the uh, democratic uh, mechanisms. If, if you have a right-wing president, that's yes, okay, if, so long as he's democratically elected, yes. or will she? И ровно поэтому мне так сильно хотелось бы женщин-президента, потому что если наши русские так любят президента без майки выглядеть, то, наверное, женщина была бы более кларитна. I'm just reporting that uh, on, in the center of London you can see a uh, monument uh, dedicated to blue chicken. <laughs> because chicken is funny itself and uh, there are a lot of myths that we, me and Masha, I mean, put chicken in our vaginas. But we didn't, really. Do they still listen to your friends? Of course. They do, yeah, it's normal. It seems to me there's a kind of dilemma for young people, for educated people. You can stay. Uh, wh where those rules exist in Moscow, or you can leave the country. Are you staying or are you going? We are staying. Why uh, are you staying? We are staying because we want to uh, improve and not improve, but somehow build our country. I mean, I just want to have chance to develop because right now I, I have chance uh, just to sit uh, silent or to cry, to shut, to, to be loud and uh, to, to go to, to jail in the end of the story. And uh, I don't like yeah. this dualism. <laughs> I think that uh, maybe, probably, for somebody we can be an example. So you see the lights? That's where he lives. Over there. So. English is phenomenal. Especially our accent, I think. The accent is both so it's, nice. It's super. Be an English person. You have to say please all the time. In London, okay, and someone treads on your foot, you say to them sorry. Mm -hmm. If you are from Russia, where people completely never, never, ever, ever say sorry. <laughs> When you hear the terms G8 and G20, you're probably reminded of those annual events where world leaders get together to have a class picture taken.